What's up everybody, The Brick Studs here with another LEGO review. What are we reviewing today? Set number 76944. Otherwise known as what? As, I don't know. He, don't, he doesn't know. He has no T-Rex Dinosaur Breakout. This is a 4 plus set. Now certain somebody we're not going to mention. We have recently heard that there could possibly be no hype out there for sets like this. How is there no hype for a set like this? It's got a T-Rex. So we're here to bring the hype. It's got a T-Rex, it's got minifigs. It's I got mean... a helicopter. I love helicopters. The hype for this set is real. It's this unreal. set is just as real as any other sets in the Jurassic World lineup. And, and we're gonna prove it to you. If you are a, I'm not saying anything against, you know, except for somebody. But if you're a true Lego enthusiast, especially like Jurassic World, or you know, you're a Star Wars person, most Star Wars you'll buy the you're Star Wars sets, right? You're gonna get this right? set. If you're a Jurassic World person, you're gonna get the Jurassic World set. So the hype is real for this set. The hype is real. We bought it. We're gonna, it. It we're so gonna, we're build, gonna build it. it. No, you're gonna build it, right? I'm gonna build it. Uh, listen, they we're finally gonna do a set that you might be able to manage. So uh -huh. I think you should build it. This set, no, this set has 140 pieces, by the way. How much was it? 50 US dollars when it retails that. I did not look it up, by the way. I mean, not he did not. In pause, we no, look it up. No, there was no cuts. I this knew. is unedited material <laughs> yeah. that you're going to be seeing. I knew seeing exactly here. how much it was. We don't do that. So, this set, uh, I think either one of us is going to build it. I'm kind of excited to build this set. And Although, now, $50 for 140 pieces is kind of a lot of money. Maybe the hype isn't real for this. <laughs> no, it's definitely real for <laughs> it's this. It's there. And it's you know there. what? I'm sorry, you guys, but. If you, even if you have like a, like a, a parent or something like that and you buy this Lego set for your child or you build another set, it's still the real, the hype is real, it's still got dinosaur. It it's got a dinosaur. That's a cool looking And it dress. says, learn to build on the back. You're going to learn to build. You're going to learn to build. You're going to learn to build today. I need to learn, so I'm definitely going to enjoy this one. Why are we both sitting in the shot? Because we're both gonna build this Lego set. I'm gonna supervise him building this. We're set. both gonna learn. He's gonna learn to build the day. No, we're both gonna learn how to build. I already know And how to build. if you know what this means, it's about to get serious. In it's this about house. to get very serious. It's about to get real up in here. I should have worn a hat. You should have worn a hat. Put, put your physical, put your mental you know, hat back. There you go. <laughs> it's not, but you can't turn that backward. There we go. It's gonna get real. You ready? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, so. How many bags are we looking at? Got technically three poly bags and then a dinosaur. I'm bag. building the dinosaur. Okay. Rebuild the world. That is pretty there's, epic. There's three instruction booklets for this. Yeah, because it's, it's teaching children and, and people like me who are not a build. Bigger Lego sets, you know, you're gonna have to learn. I guess okay, so. that's true. Oh, okay. Oh, we oh, cheated. No, we cheated. Not wanting to build a dinosaur. Okay, so we built the dinosaur. Okay. He's still not done building. It's only 140 pieces, and he's still not done building. This takes time and effort. You turned your hat back and everything. And I, said, I thought you were going to show them a speed build here. This is a speed build. I'm part of the pros. I'm, I'm on the I'm on the new season of Lego Master Series. You don't even know what it's called. <laughs> It. And it's done. We're done. There you go. Okay. You did a good job. This set is now complete. Behold, the gate to Jurassic Park. Well, well, <laughs> Jurassic. Park. But before we talk about the set, let's talk about the minifigs. Okay, this set, this set came with three minifigs. It's broken. It's very fragile. Three minifigs. Minifigs. Wildlife guard. He's in a, green, a little green costume. He's got a little microphone on his side. 
that little cool little green hat. What does um, he do with that microphone? Pipe communicate. He's probably the helicopter pilot, so pipe communication with Buzz. Um, he has a little, little badge right here, a little nameplate here, a little, like, little green you know, jacket like, like he's a wildlife guard. And you have, I'll do her first, you have, uh, what's her name? <laughs> Zia Rodriguez. <laughs> Zia Rodriguez. There we go, that's yep. what it was. Yeah, that's what exactly, we knew exactly what it was. She got this cool, like, little t-shirt. Um, oh, two faces. Little jacket, t-shirt, uh, obviously a trank gown, little trank light at dark. She does happen to have two faces, one, like, smile, and one, like, just kind of nonchalant. Uh, her back is kind of very detailed. Is it like tactical gear that she's in? Mm, tactical jacket, maybe, but it's like, okay. it's like she's wearing like a, a t shirt that says 1988. It's like a rock band or something. Some a band she's wearing. Oh, yeah. So, something like that. Then you have the third mini fig, which is Owen uh, Grady. Owen Grady. Uh, he's got. Kind of like a trench coat almost on. Like the coat comes all the way down to here. And like See a lumberjack that? shirt underneath. A lumberjack shirt, a belt on, but the jacket does not come behind. So it right. goes to the front. It's kind of weird that it does that. He's got the five o'clock shadow thing. The sideburns. Those look like my. I should have you. When you take off his hair, the sideburns that he has look more like mutton chops than sideburns. And it's weird because the sideburns are also kind of in the hair, like his hair comes down. So I don't know why you have painted sideburns on. Because they did. And he has two faces. He has like a face that's kind of like nonchalant, and then a face kind of like mad. He's like irritated. Um, he's also holding a road flare. That road flare is better than the road flare that you get in the uh, hey. in the T-Rex breakout. I like that road flare a lot better. Yeah, I can see that. I, I don't mind that one though. They're both pretty cool. No, I, that one's better. Now, the T-Rex that it comes with. Now, obviously, the T-Rex is not like the other sets. It's a little more simplistic, but the detail in this thing is really cool. This T-Rex reminds me of the Lost World. Mm -hmm. T-Rex, the green T-Rex from the, the jungle scenes there. Yeah, and the mouth is up and down. And this set, I mean, the teeth are colored in, the, you know, like the yes. other dinosaur sets, the teeth aren't colored in. Yeah, I've noticed that. This, why does the four plus set have, the teeth are white when the other ones are just gray mouth? They didn't paint them. So it's kind of cool. Obviously, obviously got like the T-Rex design, um, two little hands, two legs. Uh, it's kind of cool T-Rex. It is a very cool T-Rex. All right, now that we got the characters and the monster down, let's go to the vehicles that make this set happen. We got this cart of some kind. A go-kart. A go-kart. It really is. It's, it's really tiny. These tiny little, I don't know how this guy's gonna outrun them. It, I mean, tiny, super tiny wheels. And obviously because it's a four plus set, they, there wasn't much to build. So they make it really easy to put your character in and out. Very basic steering wheel is this all this is okay yeah okay i didn't know if it was all built one solid piece or not but i mean i do like the front it is yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a funny little front you have um this back cargo area with a crate in it and this crate has an egg do you think it's a t-rex egg it's got to be because she's like chasing just like in the lost world he's chasing the yes the car spoilers if you haven't seen the lost world oh you broke it it's a t-rex i don't know he breaks everything. And then, the helicopter. I love helicopters. And this helicopter's not bad. The main body is one single piece that the rest of it hooks onto. You have down here the, what is it called, landing gear? Just, just landing gear, yeah. rails, the red landing rails, landing gear. You have the cockpit over here. The glass actually opens up and there is a seat in there seats broken but this little console here and the console's pretty detailed it's actually got little gauges it's got i think a fuel gauge yep. and then an altitude gauge we're just i don't know an rpm gauge it almost looks like a car Probably, <laughs> it yeah. looks, like, looks like a car cluster then you have a fire extinguisher here which is really smart because helicopters tend to tend to crash i don't think it goes on there i think it goes on the set but that's okay i just put it there you know what it's going on there. They were smart. Helicopters tend to crash. Fire extinguisher for when it does. Then you have a nice little spotlight. 
Oh, brother, I say little, it's huge. This is, a, this is a very ginormous spotlight. I guess you need a big spotlight to spot such a big animal, right? Yeah. And then I like, as you're going on up, you've got, it says, what does it say? Tiny little letters. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Oh, so mm -hmm. he doesn't actually work for, like, InGen or whoever it is. He's a wildlife owns, guard. He just, yeah, he's just a wildlife guard. Boy, is he having a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Goes from, like, catching moose to T-Rexes. That's crazy. And then you have the back door for him to get out. Even though, I mean, the glass comes up and there's not really anything keeping him from jumping out the sides. But they did give you the option to have a back door. Yeah. And then as you're going up to the top, very tiny propeller. I don't know how this thing flies. These I don't propellers but it does. are very but they are sturdy. Very, very sturdy propellers right here. And then there's no rear going down to the tail. It's all part of that one solid piece right here. The tail, nice little wing, nice little um, other wing. <laughs> but not much there, not much going on there. And then it lands right down on the helipad. Boom. Nice little set. So now the Lego set itself, you got the little on the left side of the landing, uh, the helipad landing thing. Land, the hel helipad? I don't know. It's helipad? Structure. Structure. Landing. It's got a little ladder right here so you can climb up. You can actually reach it, get up to the helicopter. I like how wide it is. Like, you can actually climb up it. The ladder reaches close enough to the ground that the character can yep, climb up the it. ladder and get into the helicopter. That's kind of neat. And then you, to the right you have this little gate with the electrify symbol on the side saying it's, you know, don't touch it. It's electrified. And, and the gate was pretty easy to build. It's just two little silver basically plastic strings that you can use to open and close the gate so basically. that way the terrorists can get in and out unless it just bursts through the gate. Yep, and then you got the little structure here, a little wildlife station. Um, it's got like a little chicken there. I don't know what they're trying to capture with a little piece of chicken. If they're trying to bait trying the T-Rex. They might be trying to bait the T-Rex. I have no idea, but he's on the wrong side. So that's on the wrong side. Should be on the, well, it's not, it's on the boxes right here, but he's behind here. So I've, I've always, I was wondering that too as we were building it. Why is the T-Rex breaking out and everyone's facing this? Are they trying to lead the T-Rex out of the enclosure? I don't really know. Maybe maybe the T-Rex is not supposed to be in this enclosure. Maybe it's just it's like another oh, wildlife thing. Maybe it's thing. stolen. I mean, it's like a wildlife like you know thing. And then I don't know. It's if you keep going on with the Lego. I mean, you got the command center here, which again has the little symbol of the wildlife. wildlife. Um, you know, the top of it, the glass, the little yeah, siren. Yeah, look out, siren. You Light. got the lights radio to radio to possibly the helicopter where the T-Rex is but as you're going you have what looks like warning lights over here on these gates so it seems like they have T-Rex already behind where it's already trapped so it almost looks like they're trying to lead it out I don't know maybe it's not it's supposed to be there maybe it's supposed to be like it's like a like a wildlife center and then the thing's attacking there's lions in here or something that could be you know that could be ah uh, but these little things right here they are easy to pop off so the T-Rex hits it they break he pop off so he breaks easy. through it um, doesn't even go, need to go through the gate no nope. no stop the T-Rex so what do you think the hype was real for this. The hype yeah. was real. I honestly got it as a joke, and I actually like the set. Yeah, I, I really do. It is a bit overpriced. Fifty dollars for 140 pieces, in my opinion, is kind of a lot. So if you can wait until it goes on sale, but I recommend this not just for if you have kids, but if you are looking for different types of T-Rexes to add to your collection or just different characters, character suits. I mean, there was actually very decent decent pieces to this set. I gotta say though, just in general, if you are like, like, like us, we collect certain sets. We collect everything. So the Jurassic World sets, we're gonna collect them all if you're like us. I still a good set to have. There's the no shame in having this in your collection. Mm. The hype is real. I and for children, I'm just saying, for children, this is a great build. Well, you're building your Jurassic World set. Your kid next to you, That's little, true little too. brother, or whatever, builds this set. So it's great for it's great for the whole family for everybody. So I can see no reason other than the price than to get this set. Mm -hmm. The hype is real for this set. We cannot say it enough. The hype is real. But until next time, we'll see you.